Hey there YouTube, ADB024 here at uh, San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf, I think that Pier 42. Behind me is uh, Alcatraz. I've just been talking with the uh, local shop owners here and this here's a uh, Memorial Day weekend. It's the uh, big tourist weekend, the start of the uh, summer. But uh, they're not seeing the crowds they expected and uh, a lot of them are thinking it's because of swine flu. You know, the international crowd, this uh, solely depends on tourism here. And I think they're not coming because internationally no one wants to come here from the uh, swine flu epidemic. You know, we have about 6,000 cases here in the uh, United States now. And if you can imagine what's being thought over in the Asian countries when they got two cases and they're all wearing a flying swine flu mask. Last thing one they want to do is come to America and uh, for tourism. Uh, a 200 square foot shop here on this uh, Fisherman's Wharf starts out at $25,000 a month. So what the crowds are seeing How much is uh, rent here? What? How much is rent lease here? Oh, the rent is too expensive, $25,000 a month. $25,000 a month for this little, little 200 square foot store? That's San Francisco for you, huh? But see, we don't see ourselves as capital offenders against God. We see ourselves as, you know, the we want to just get our hands slapped or something, that it's no big deal. And then if everybody does it, then it must make it okay. You know, I, I, I used to do that when I drive down the freeway. If the speed limit is 55 and I'm doing 80, I think, you know, it's okay if everybody else is going 70, 80. But see, that's not the law. And we can get accustomed to living our life in this world, much like that person driving on the freeway, thinking that it's okay to see because everybody else does it. And we think it's okay, but see, we're still, we're in violation of God's law, except that it's going to bring judgment. But the good news is that you can have your sins forgiven, you can have a pardon. And you can have a place in the heaven someday when God comes to this earth and sets up his kingdom. And then after that he's going to have a, a new heavens and a new earth. 
where the righteousness will dwell. It's going to be a place that's called Paradise Restored. You see, we lost paradise in the garden when we sinned. And there was a curse on us and on this earth. But one day God promises to restore paradise and raise us up from the dead into resurrected bodies that have no more decay, no more death, no more pain, no more sorrow. They said there will be no more tears. That it'll, it'll, all things have passed away, no more curse. And it's going to be a wonderful place for those who, who take the invitation of the King to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior for the sacrifice of your sins. But on the contrary,